the Holy Spirit. Let's honor Mary, our mother. The angel of the Lord appeared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now that we are of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt in us. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. For forth receives the O Lord, thy grace into our hearts. The widow whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion to the cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now the ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of our Lady of Mount Carmel, and Our Lady of Guadalupe, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, today we hear the parable of the Good Samaritan. <coughs> For the times that we have turned a blind eye on our brothers and sisters in need of love and support, we ask God for healing and forgiveness. And we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fall, through my fall, through my need to be the soul. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy.
loving Father, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path. Give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Jesus, and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. This is a perfect example of how it is to be a good Samaritan. So we are right in the midst of it. Are you okay? No. Uh, please call 911. Relax, we're gonna be okay. Uh, this 
is a good example for all of us and for especially for the kids. Brothers and sisters, let's pray one Hail Mary, please. Hail Mary. Okay, 911 is here. Thanks be to God. The fire department is close to the church. Very good. Those of you who are joining online, please pray for us and pray for Rick Coffee.
Thank you, uh, first responders, for helping us. And we pray for you too, Roseanne. Rick, you'll be okay. Thank you.
prepared it for him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instruction, take care of it. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered, the one who treated him with mercy. And Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. My dear sisters, my dear brothers, the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We just witnessed how it is to be a good Samaritan to our own brother who was in need. And flashbacks came to my mind <clears throat> many years ago before I entered the priesthood. I was working for a big company. And we were passing through a, the basement tunnel, going to a uh, Bible service. But then there, was, there were two security guards playing with their guns, and one of them accidentally shot himself. And I was with the leader of our Bible class. I looked at him. He looked at me. Of course, we were wearing neckties and we were so attired, like, uh, you know, working for a company. We were full of blood. We took care of the man and brought him to the hospital. Yesterday, after, after Mass, there was a young fellow at the back. He was almost in tears, and he approached me. I said to myself, am I going to talk to this person? I have to rest a little while for my next Mass. I looked at the eyes of the young boy. And he was beginning to cry. I sat down with him and said, okay, let's sit down and talk. I know you're hurting. And as I was listening to him, I wanted to give him counsel, but I was short of words. And he told me, thank you, Father, for listening to me. At home, nobody wants to listen to me. At least here in church, somebody wants to listen to me. I was struck. I was awestruck. And today, we had this incident. What is the Lord speaking to me about? And what is the Lord telling us? It's all about mercy and about compassion. Mercy and compassion mercy and compassion if we trace the origin of compassion of course we know cum c-u-m cum in latin is with or passion passion in spanish is suffering so we put ourselves in the shoes of the other person. We make ourselves available to the other person and make ourselves suffer with the other person. And so it is no longer us asking ourselves, am I doing this because I want to go to heaven and I want to be rewarded? No. Am I doing this because this is part of the Ten Commandments? That I have a duty to perform? No. Why am I doing this? Because I am asking myself, what am I going to do now in this situation? How am I going to help this other person? 
He may not look like me or speak like me. He belongs to another ethnicity. He may be a, Demo a Democrat or a Republican, but it doesn't matter. He's another human being. And that, brothers and sisters, is where we're at. The Lord is asking us, it is okay to put your goals in that. You want to go to heaven, fine. It is good for you to obey because, you know, you got to have, to have an orderly life if you want to follow the right road. But for God's <clears throat> sakes, the first reading says, act. Put it in action. But it's not just doing, it's being. It is making this love that we have inside us to just be transformed into something practical. How can I help the other person? And it is not just a matter of helping the other person. It is putting ourselves in the situation where the other person needs help. It is giving of ourselves to the other person. It is sacrificing whatever inconveniences that we may experience. You were inconvenienced earlier. We could have just continued with the second reading, but no, we stopped. Everybody stopped. We put ourselves in the shoes of Rick Coffee. And thank you, brothers and sisters, for doing that. That is a perfect example of mercy and compassion. And I thank God because, you see, there's another important message that the Lord is teaching us in the parable. There is the innkeeper. The innkeeper was the one who received some mulah, some money, so that the person can be taken care of. And as I was reflecting earlier, when I was having breakfast, I realized that our faith community, because of the help that you've been given, this little parish needs a little help too. But we too are men and women who are willing to sacrifice and be inconvenienced to help the other person, our brothers and sisters in need. We are all in keepers. And again, I repeat what I said last week. Our parish and our church is like a hospital full of men and women who are hurting, who are sick, who are different from us. Some have come from broken families and we need to stop and look at the eyes of the people around us. Maybe a little smile, a little pat in the back would help. That is compassion. That is mercy. I could go on and on. It's too much. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born the Father for all ages, God from God, light from light. True God, true God, begotten of the consubstantial of the Father, through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was in time to the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead.
and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father to the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess the baptism for the forgiveness of sins and the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With confidence we turn to God with our needs and to our Father we ask Him to help us as we cry like His poor sons and daughters. leaders and followers in the church bear witness to love of our neighbor and did the good Samaritan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders work towards peace and assist victims of war and strife. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That individuals, communities treat the earth gently and preserve its beauty and richness for future generations, let's pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all people have access to affordable health care, education, and housing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all members of this church welcome the stranger, shelter the homeless, and build a community of love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray in a special way for Rick Coffey and for his wife, Roseanne. We pray for his immediate healing. They are very active in church. They serve us. So we ask the Lord to just touch him right now and allow him to experience a rejuvenation of his energy that his heart I know he's got the heart problem, but his heart may be fixed right now by the tenderly touch of the healing hands of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all of us that we too may be men and women who know no limits in serving our brothers and sisters, willing to take the extra mile in serving one another, despite our differences. All these we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our parish is like the innkeeper, so it will ask for a little help. Thank you for whatever assistance you could give our parish. Our second collection is for our repayment of our loans. I have inherited a loan of $140,000. But just so that you may be encouraged, it is down to 116, 116. So we have paid much. Thank you for whatever help you're going to give us today. God bless you all. Psalm is number four, five, and nine, second, and nine.
God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, will be comforts our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my Pray, my dear sisters, my dear brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who they may bring ever greater holiness to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. <laughs> Lift up your hearts. <laughs> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, O be Father, Almighty and eternal God, for you lay the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing times and seasons. You formed humanity in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as a joyful celebration, we claim holy, holy, holy Lord, God hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory, hosts behind the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, hosts behind the heights. You are holy, be the fountain of holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them, like the new fall, so that they may become chorus body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered when he leave to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he told the chalice, again he gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your help is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray in the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, all the clergy and the religious. Remember also Veronica Pallas, Ernesto Rodriguez, Hendrix Guerriero, Bob Pestomi, all our loved ones who have gone before us, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O 
we pray, particularly those with cancer and for their healing, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, your most spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. the rest of your child, Jesus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be glorious in eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now, brothers and sisters, whatever baggage we carry, let us unload the throne of our God as we pray the prayer that Jesus Christ taught Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. And may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Now let us offer one another the same peace. There is healing when we greet our neighbors with Jesus' peace. Peace to all of the past.
brothers and sisters, join, let us join our, our brothers and sisters who were uh, joining us online, uh, who have not received communion. So we shall pray the act of spiritual communion uh, together with those who are joining us online right now. Let's all kneel. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are the present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to see you in my soul. Since it's I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come and be spiritually in my heart. I am raised as if you are in the air, and unite myself with you to be. Never, never believe me to be separated from you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now we pray the Anima Christi, the prayer for vocations, and prayer to Saint Michael, the Archangel. Just say our Lord and our forefather, past several moments. But uh, just want to remind you, me and this is the second Thursday of the month. Our women's club will be meeting on Thursday for this week, the 14th, in the parish hall, 5 o'clock, and it will be a pop up. And any of you women that are in the parish, please uh, think about coming. Uh, bring a pop up, and I'm sure you will enjoy it meeting the other women, and uh, getting involved in our prayers. Thank you. And I'd like to thank you, brothers and sisters, especially for those who, who prayed for our July 4th parade participation. 58 parishioners joined our uh, little float, and uh, our youth band played. We won first place. Thank God our community is alive again. Thank you. Thank you for all your help. Let us pray.
having consumed these gifts, we pray, O oh Father, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all the members of your families in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ascended. Let us go in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Our recessional is number 474, finally.